Apology to the faithful by faithful to the sciences. I believe that from nothing, everything came into existence for no reason. I believe that anything imaginable to man is possible, as long as it's not biblical. I believe that apes turned into peoples for no reason. I also believe that once upon a time, giant flesh-eating dragon-like hideously grotesque and violent lizard monsters became today's modern chickadees for no reason at all. I believe that Charles Darwin was totally original in his thoughts and ideas and that he definitely did not borrow them from the ancient Greek philosophers. That he, Darwin, totally didn't create racism when he likened the physical appearances of the African peoples along with their traits and mannerisms to that of the likeness of the apes, likewise. I believe that all mainstream scientific theories and orthodox scientific studies are all 100% based on solid testimony, for the many of wise men have, throughout time, written down into various books the various forms of data which they had obtained while observing a great variety of these various forms of data. These scientific books of various data have lasted throughout the history of time, according to the scientific measurement of time according to various approximations of a time, or times or half a time, and so on. They are entirely reliable, especially for those lacking expertise in any given field of science. As a matter of fact, scientific facts are, in fact, a fact. They are backed by the consensus data science factology. As you may or may not know. I am aware that I am at the current moment, very much alive for now, and I also know for a fact that I myself had indeed for absolutely no reason at all, been flung involuntarily head first into this existence, at least this one time for sure, but it was only by a spontaneous instance of luck according to facts. So I can say firmly with 100% certainty and without a doubt that the chance of a second chance of existence existing from nothing is impossible because there is no proof of it happening again. I did my own experiment one night in the dead of winter. I drew up a picture with an assortment of various colored crayons. Using the peach colored crayon, I drew the peoples. For the planet, I used blue and green crayons for that, and I used sky blue to color the sky, blue. I then added some clouds with cotton balls and blue. It came out looking really awesome, so I hung it on the refrigerator with kindergarten letter magnets. The colors of the letters were green and yellow, I only used those two to hang up my drawing. Upon examination, however, I did not see myself in the sky within the picture drawing I had drawn. Indeed, I went as far as to have glued with an abundant amount of Gorilla Glue, a white and patchy beard onto my face. I adorned myself with a white bed sheet that I draped over my shoulders and then across my bare chest, only to find myself not floating in the sky that I had drawn. Surely if God exists, then for certain he would be seen looking down at us from our skies, but he obviously doesn't exist, and yet to this day, every religious person alive literally believes that there is an old white bearded white man with long beautifully bountiful healthy white hair, looking at all of us closely, watching every move we make, every step we take and every thought we thank, sitting up in the sky becoming increasing angry and tossing down yellow lighting bolts at the earth. The simple fact is this. We are all just meaningless clumps of cells that form cellular meat bodies. The cells just so happen to be compiled of very sophisticated and seemingly intelligent systems of complicated coding embeddings. Coding that is so ridiculously complex, because of its no reason, that it is made to seem more probable for a mechanical pencil, having been fully formed, to fall from the sky than it is for us to wiggle the toe. But that is not what the nothing of no reason wanted for us all, for no reason. I end the message with a quote from William Nye, the science man. Science rules. 